Okay, what I'm gonna make today is um, a Louisiana style pineapple upside down cake. Now, I've already got the batter I made. That's uh, one can of 14 ounce can of sweet condensed milk, two boxes because it's made with cornbread mix instead of regular cake mix. That's why it's Louisiana style. Two boxes of those, two eggs. Mix it up. Got my hand, my pan heating right there. Find me a spoon. We're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. Had the wrong eye on. Sorry. About two tablespoons, close to it. Do a little time in. Let that melt. Get all frothy. That's regular butter, not margarine. That margarine will kill you. Margarine is some bad juju. That shit will kill you. Use real butter. I got this recipe from Justin Wilson. I remember we were watching him in the 80s, in the 90s. I loved watching his shows. He was about the only cooking show you had back in the day, besides Julia Child. He was way more entertaining. Come on, milk. Brown sugar. Should have measured this out beforehand, but I didn't. Let's use about half a cup, maybe a cup, maybe. It's about half a cup, maybe a little bit more than that. Tiny bit more. Yeah, that looks about right. Whisk all that around. And melt the brown sugar. It's all starting to melt. Louisiana pineapple upside down cake. I love this stuff. Put all that butter in there. Turn it down, it's starting to burn. Just keep whisking. Get it all going. Got a can of crushed pineapple right here. here. Throw that in there. What? Tell you right now, I need more butter. Just I said it was gonna be good, not healthy. A little more brown sugar. What is kind of soupy, kind of the gooeyness can go on top of the cornbread. The uh, oven is already preheated at 420. Caramelized in these 
pineapple chunks. Get all that going like that. Okay. You could tell, I could tell the smell was starting to, the brown sugar was starting to get too burnt. It was burning the sugar too fast. What do we do here? Turn down to medium, a little bit lower than medium. I'll let it chill for a second. With all that juju mixed together, with that butter. Pineapple slices. Get them all nice and pretty around everything. Like my son says, like an art project. Make it all nice and pretty. Get them all fit on there. Careful not to bring your finger. Because that's hot sugar. Okay. Pretty much turn that off now. Next thing we're gonna do is take the cornbread batter, play with sweet condensed milk, and two eggs. I mean if you need it thinner than what it is, you can save your pineapple juice and thin it out something. I didn't show you before, this is the cornbread, cornbread muffin mix I use. We all have this, we all use it. This is one of the staples. We're gonna bake this for 15 to 20 minutes at 420. Slowly keep an eye on it. It's in the oven now. Okay, and here's the finished product. I had to drop the temperature. That plate's not really big enough for this. But it is so good. Oh, man. I had to change the temperature, drop it to like 350, 325. For another 10 or 15 minutes because the outside was cooking way too fast it's been a while since i have made this recipe but yeah the 420 was a little bit too much it was cooking the outside too fast <laughs> 